Hi, hello, kumusta buhay? This is JJ Jasper Jet and welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how you can customize your Windows 10 with Power Toys. So sit back, fasten your seatbelt as I take you in this amazing learning journey in about 3, 2, 1, lift off! Welcome back again. Uh, my name is Jasper Jed. Just want to inform everyone that I am from Microsoft Philippines and I'm a, I'm a full time employee. I'm a customer engineer for modern work. And since we're going to be discussing about Power Toys, which is a Microsoft product, kila ang sabihin yon. All right, so let's begin. So, ano nga ba si Power Toys? Power Toys is a collection, it's actually a suite of tools. Um, para mas madali mo ma customize Windows 10. There are a lot of tools inside Power Toys na sobrang useful at mapapabilis talaga yung gawain mo. Like for example, um, meron tayong times na kailangan natin mag-rename ng multiple files, multiple folder. Kaya yung gawin ni Power Toys. Gusto natin i-manage yung uh, windows natin um, in a view na mas madali natin matitignan. Kaya ni Power Toys yun. Um, may gusto tayong kopyahin na color, kaya din ni Power Toys yan. So we're gonna be looking at those tools within Power Toys. So, the first thing that you need to know about Power Toys is that Power Toys, again, is a Microsoft product. However, it is developed together with a community. And with that being said, Power Toys is actually available in GitHub. So let me show it to you. Right, so like what I said, um, see Power Toys available in si GitHub. So if you're going to do a quick search online, um, search mo lang Microsoft Power Toys and it will lead you to this GitHub site. Right, so what you'll see here are informations about uh, Power Toys. So, ano mga kaya gawin ni Power Toys? And, and on, on the first part are actually um, yung mga version ni Power Toys. But if you want to download it, you'll have to search in for this um, exe file or exe file, right? And then you'll have to click on Microsoft Power Toys GitHub release page, right? And then from here, you'll see the latest version of Power Toys. And then from here, you can download it down. Now, um, like what I've said, since this is developed by Microsoft and the community, nasa GitHub siya. But recently, um, it has been uploaded or it has been um, displayed also in the Microsoft's, uh, in Microsoft's website rather. So, makikita na rin natin dito si Power Toys and we can actually see um, the different capabilities of Power Toy, which we will be uh, looking around over at, at this video. So we actually have eight capabilities. The first one is color picker. The next one is fancy zone. The third one is file explorers add-on, um, image resizer, keyboard uh, keyboard manager, uh, power rename, and then uh, power toys run and shortcut guide. So, isa-isa natin. So once you've downloaded power toys, makikita mo na siya sa Windows 10 menu. And then you can scroll down or you can, of course, search in. Um, look for Power Toys, right? It will not open up a window, but rather it will go to your system tray, right? You'll have to click, click on the system tray and um, click on the icon, right? And then it will show this window. So as you would notice, I'm using a multiple screen. So uh, I'm open to the main screen, ko, but this is um, what you're going to see when you open Power Toys. So, yung mga sinasabi kong tools kanina, andito siya isa-isa, and we're gonna be looking at it. So, let's start with number one, which is the color picker. So, as the term would imply, um, you can use color picker uh, to pick in colors na gusto mong gamitin. Um, it's very similar uh, to what you have in, like for example, in PowerPoint. So, for example, um, meron ka ditong um, gustong ilagay na text. So, for example, good morning. Right? And if you want to capture in a color from a picture, for example, diba? so you'll have to use the eyedropper para magaya mo yung um, color nung nasa picture na yun. So for example, uh, let me just bring this one in. So ayan. So for example, you really love the color blue on that uh, eagle's beak. So kung gusto mo siyang ipek, you'll have to go to home. Right? And then font color. And then use eyedropper. And you can actually pick that color. 
right? And you're good to go. So, makukuha mo siya um, using the eyedropper. However, the problem with eyedropper is that it only works within um, your application, within Word, PowerPoint, and I think even Excel, right? So, paano naman kung yung color na gusto mong gayahin is not within um, PowerPoint? Yes, you can probably take a photo, take a screenshot of it, but um, it would be useful if you can use Color Picker, which is available in Power Toys. So, if you click on Color Picker, you can actually see, right, uh, there's a button for it kung gusto mo siyang enable or disable, right? And then, for you to be able to activate it, kailangan mong i-click yung Windows plus Shift plus C. And then, we have different behavior. Pwedeng Color Picker with Editor Mode enabled, pwedeng Editor lang, pwedeng Color Picker only. So, what's great about Color Picker is that ang dami niyang color formats. Now, some of you might not be familiar on this one, but uh, most of the time, kasi yung mga colors natin, well, not most of the time, ma uh, talagang marami format yung mga colors natin. Um, our designer, our graphics persons um, would know na marami talagang format yung color. And, and, and it's really good kasi ang daming format na available dito. Now, since sabi dito, activate color picker, I will now use yung um, keyboard shortcut, which, which is Windows, Shift C, right? Right, and as you would notice, um, whenever I hovered in, it actually picks the color nung nasa background ko. So, for example, um, let's do that again. I want this color orange. Right? So, I'm gonna click on that one. Since pinili natin yung color picker with editor, we can actually edit yung hex natin. You can also choose uh, kung ano yung um, color kasi pwede marami siyang hues. But if you are interested with what, with what has been picked, just copy the hex. And kung paano mo siya gagamitin sa PowerPoint is that you go back, right? And then you go over at change font color more colors and you can actually paste the hex number or hex value of that color and makukuha mo na yung color na yun. Very, very useful. Of course, um, this will not just work on Word, PowerPoint. It will also work on your other applications, specifically kung, mga, uh, kung graphics designer kayo. Um, if you want to open it in, in, in photo editors, tapos available yung the hex value or GB value, you can just copy paste it. So that is color picker, very useful tool. Specifically, you know, if if you're if you're editing something and if you want to have it, for example, uniform, or kung gusto mo talagang gayahin, for example, kung medyo peg mo yung color na yon, then you can use color picker. All right. So for tool number two, we have the fancy zones. So the fancy zones is very similar to what we have right now in Windows wherein you can snap your window para mas madali mong ma-organize or madali mong ma-frame yung mga window mo. Um, snap actually came in during Windows 7 era. Um, it is actually called um, Aero Snap, right? So for those who are not familiar with Snap, um, you can pick up a window within your Windows 10, snap it on the upper part, and it will go full screen. Um, if you will um, snap it on the right, it will ask you, left or right yon. it will ask you to choose kung ano yung gusto mong i-snap, right, um, within on the next or the other side. Um, you can actually do multiple um, snaps. So, for example, katulad nitong ginagawa ko, I can go as much as four snaps. Now, um, like what I've said, uh, pareha siya sa fancy zones, but uh, yung fancy zones kasi has more option than those that are built in, in Snap. So, in fact, right, so the first thing that you'll see here um, is that you can enable or disable, uh, disable fancy zones, right? And like what I've said, in fact, kanina, um, you can actually click on launch, uh, launch layout editor and you can actually see Right, that the fancy zones um, has more option, and meron tayo dito ng option 
um, to, to, to use the templated ones, meaning nandun na siya, gawa na siya, you don't need to do anything. And you can also customize your own zone. So for this video, we're going to be focusing on the templated ones. But before we go there, um, you can actually see uh, kung saan siya ma display right? So because I have multiple screen right now, I have uh, screen 1 and screen 2, right? I'm actually choosing screen 2 kung saan natin ilalagay yung zones natin. So the first um, the first item here um, is that um, uh, the first template is focus. Meron din tayong columns, meron din tayong rows, meron tayong grid, meron din tayong priority grid. And I, we can actually increase or decrease the number, right, of the grid that we are um, looking at. And then we can also click on um, edit zone and then we can stretch it up right or or i adjust natin siya right so kung paano natin gusto makita yung zone natin and since um although nagalin tayo sa template the moment you edit it um it will already be converted into a custom layout kasi nga binago mo na so you can actually name your own uh, custom layout by doing this but again for the meantime let's just go with the templated now once you've uh, selected the templated um zone like for example, this priority grid, I'll click on apply, right? So um, the the way you'll have to use this phone is to um, bring in your window, right? So for example, this one, and then uh, you'll have to click on, or you'll have to hold on the shift button to activate yung zone. Right, so if you uh, if I will not be clicking the shift button, hindi siya gagana. So for example, you're working in one main document, so shift like left click and drag it down there. Right, so for example, you're working on document uh, main document. Tapos gusto mong kumuha ng information on that main document at ilagay siya sa in four other different documents. So again, pull in shift, lagay mo dyan. Of course, you can change the view, right? And then we also have your uh, document number three, shift, right? And then we also have document number four, right? So you kind of get the idea here, right? So if you are, of course, looking at uh, different document, although we have time versioning um, capabilities in uh, Word, However, minsan gusto natin yung ganito na madali natin makikita. Pwede rin naman, right? So, this is Fancy Zone, right? And you can organize your windows with this capability on Power Toys. The third tool is File Explorer. File Explorer on Power Toys is quite simple. Kaya mabilis lang to, right? Quite simple, very, very, very useful uh, pa rin. Right, so what it does is that it allows us to have preview for SVG and markdown. So for those who are not familiar, we have mga icons um, na format which is called SVG. So if you've seen my Instagram, wow, my shameless plug, um, you can actually see different icons there. And I'm using SVG format. Um, what's great about SVG is that it, it is very useful, lalo kapag, uh, you know, hindi ka ganun kagaling mag-edit, which is I am, you know, um, guilty of. So, for example, meron tayong SVG icon dito ng, um, ng isang corgi na dog, right? So, if you just go and click on graphic fill, right? Madali mo nang mapapalitan yung color ng icon na yon, right? Very useful if, you know, if your design um, method na ginamit or this design philosophy na ginamit mo is minim minimalist design. So, very useful yung iconography. Right. So what it does here is that may magkakaroon tayo ng capabilities uh, to view SVG in the preview pane because by default it is not available and it is not available in Windows 10. So ayan, um ito yung capabilities na ginagawa ni File Explorer on PowerToy which you cannot do if you are 
um, if if wala nito, right? Because by default it's not on. You can also enable SVG thumbnail, but it may require you to reboot. So that is File Explorer. All right, for the fourth tool, the Image Resizer, right? Um, ito very useful to, and of course, as the term would imply, Image Resizer will allow us to resize images, um, within our computer, and very useful to. Kapag, uh, kunyari, di ba, meron tayo mga sinisend na uh, forms. Like, for example, government forms. Tapos, uh, kailangan natin mag-upload ng pictures natin. Eh, yung pictures natin is medyo malaki yung size. Now, of course, you'll have to download third-party applications on that one. You'll have to do extra steps. You know, uh, you'll have to open it up and save and so on. But with image resizer, you don't need to do that. Now, um, it will work, right? Um, not within this window in PowerToy. Ang, ang nakikita mo dito sa window na to is that you can set up presets, right? Of, of sizes. Kung maga, dito ka lang maglalagay ng mga custom-made sizes mo para with, with just a few click, pwede mo nang i-resize yung picture mo over at the Windows Explorer. So, like what I've said, uh, may mga presets na tayo. So, meron tayo small, medium, large, and phone. Right? And then you can also choose um, or, or, or um, configure other and cool, um, configure other um, information on that image, specifically on encoding. So, um, how it works is that, for example, ito, like when you click on right click, meron ka na, tayo, uh, meron ka na button dito na nakalagay resize picture. Right? So, we'll, we'll just open this one first, right? So, when I open it up, ganito siya kaliit, right? So, if I'm gonna click on right click, resize picture, right? It will open up your Power Toys um, window. Tapos, pwede ka nang pumili, like for example, if you wanna increase the size of it, uh, choose large. With just one click, click on resize. And compared to earlier, ganito na kalaki yung picture mo compared to earlier, right? So, ayan. Ito yung nauna, and then resize, and then we have the smaller one as well. So, if you wanna resize this again, so if you wanna resize this again, you can just click on resize. And for example, phone naman, click on resize. And there you go, ganun kabilis without actually opening a an application if you are not able to resize a picture very very useful and that is image resizer on power toys all right so the fifth tool is keyboard manager so in keyboard manager meron kang capability to remap your keys within your windows so you might be thinking hey jasper bakit kailangan kong i yung key. Now, um, hindi ganon kasikat, but there are, of course, other keyboards that are available out there. And there are a lot of people who are using those keyboards. So, kung meron silang ibang keyboard na ginagamit, tapos kung magamit sila ng QWERTY on Windows 10, then medyo malilito sila. So, kailangan uh, gumamit ng remap key para mas mapadali yung buhay nila. And, and they can um, easily rearrange their keyboard. So, if it Click on remap a key, right? Lalabas tong window na to. And then from here, you can easily just, like for example, um, letter A, gawin mong letter B. Whenever, every time na you will type letter A, magiging letter B siya. Click on OK. And then what will happen next is that, uh, yun na, magiging uh, si letter A. Um, maniwala na lang po kayo. I'm clicking letter A on my keyboard right now, and it's now letter B. And when I... Click on letter B. Letter B pa rin siya kasi hindi ko naman niremap yung letter B on my key. Yung letter A lang yung niremap ko. So, every time I would type A, it will now be letter B. So, um, of course, again, if, if you're not familiar, um, if you're not familiar with, with this kinds of keyboard, right, then you can just easily delete it katulad nung ginawa ko kanina. Right? So, um, to, to, to bring it back to normal, uh, just click on um, just click on delete. So, gagawin ko siya ulit kasi hindi nag-display ng maayos yung window kanina. Hindi nakita yung okay. So, I'll just click on delete and click on okay. And babalik na siya sa dati. 
Now, you can also remap a shortcut um, in an application. So, for example, in Outlook, right? Um, I'm not sure if, if familiar kay with this one pero, or, or you've experienced with this one. But I'm pretty sure na medyo na experience ito, right? Um, in, 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 in Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote, Control F is actually find, but for some reason, it is forward in Outlook. Well, maybe because F, uh, when, when you hear letter F, mas common yung forward sa email, right? Kaya yung, yun yung, gina, yun yung lumalabas kapag ka nag-control F ka sa Outlook. Now, if you're not comfortable with that one, you can actually remap a shortcut, right? So, let me just do that again. Uh, kasi hindi siya nag-display na maayos on my second screen. Let me just bring it here. Right. So, let me just resize. And then, I click on uh, remap shortcut. So, for example, the shortcut is control. So, of course, you'll have to find the control F. So, gagawin mo siya isa-isa. Lahat ng combination. Control F. And then, I guess F4 ata yung send or, or yung find mismo sa Outlook. So, I'll just type in Outlook. Right? And click on OK. So, Control F. It's now fine. Right? Hindi na siya forward. So, again, Control F. And find na siya. Hindi na siya forward. So, mas familiar ka na in that way. And makikita mo na dito na yung remap shortcut natin. So, kumbaga, again, just to, to review... Um, control F in Outlook is forward instead of find. Pero mas familiar tayo sa Control F as find. So, kung gusto mong gawing find yung Control F in in Outlook, pwede mong in-map. So, from Control F, uh, uh, whenever you click on Control F, ang gagawin yung command is F4, which is the actual find in Outlook. Right? So, again, if you are, if, 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 you know, you want to bring it back, madali lang din naman, all you have to do is to, right, um, is just to uh, delete this one, right, so apparently, the delete button is not showing again in my display, let me just put it back here, there you go, click on delete, click on OK, and when you go back, it's again forward, so that's how you will remap your shortcut on Keyboard Manager in Power Toys. The next tool is Power Rename. As the term would imply, you can rename your files and folders. But you might be thinking, Jasper, nagagawa naman natin yun. That is right. However, in Power Rename, you have the capabilities to rename bulk items. Right? So, maramihan, bultuhan. Very useful in scenarios wherein you would create multiple folders, right? Tapos gusto mo siyang i-rename na mas maayos tignan, right? At mas mabilis, right? So, um, if you click on Power, rename on Power to, uh, Power Toys, right? Medyo nakakabulog yung Power Toys, to be honest, <laughs> right? So, um, you can enable and disable it, right? You can also show icon on context menu. You can also enable it on kapag ka click mo yung shift, right click, or print, uh, hinold mo yung shift, right click, right? But uh, ako enough ko siya para lagi siya lumalabas. So what it hap uh, what happens is um, mas ma um, lumalabas na yung power rename on that uh, on the menu that we have here, right? So I'm going to give you a scenario. So imagine I'm a teacher who wants to create um, lessons folder. Kasi nga, di ba, per lessons, meron tayong iba't ibang document, whether it be assignment, pwedeng resources, pwedeng quizzes, and whatnot, right? So, um, the normal thing that the teacher would do is, of course, create a new folder, Control-Shift-N, right? And kung marami tayong lesson, we'll just have to 
um, press on control C and then control V, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V, up until lesson number 10, for example, right? Now, normal thing would do is that, again, you will rename this one by one, but that will be tedious. Now, in order for you to rename this in bulk, you'll have to select it first, control A, and then right click, meron na tayong power rename dito. Right? So, what you'll have here is search for, ibig sabihin, ito yung gusto mong baguhin within the name of the folder or the file. So, for example, uh, new folder. Kasi ayoko siya. Papalitan ko siya ng lesson. Right? I'll click on rename. And it will actually have a progress bar that it will rename your folder. So, ganun kabilis, di ba? Instead of you renaming each folder. So, you might be thinking, eh, Jasper, medyo, medyo hindi pa rin maganda kasi meron nakalagay na copy. So, ganun lang din. Uh, Right-click, power, rename. So, ang gusto natin tanggalin dito is copy. And then, parenthesis. And then, since gusto lang natin siya i-delete, wala tayo ipapalit. So, blank lang yan. Right? So, if, if hindi siya nakita, uh, we, we have a space there. Click on rename. Right? And we still have another one. Yung close parenthesis naman. So, i-delete lang natin siya. Right? And then click on rename. And now, you have your lesson folders. Of course, uh, meron kasi tayong copy folder bago mag copy 2. Kaya meron dyan uh, isang copy. You can just delete this one and then rename this one as um, lesson 1. So instead of you, of course, doing everything together isa-isa. So that's how uh, I'm seeing on how teachers would use kapag ka mag-create sila ng mga lesson folders. And in a company setup, right, this is useful if, if for example, you have files na meron kang i kailangan i-format. Like for example, nag-pull like out ka ng report sa isang tool, tapos dun sa tool, lahat ng file name may parenthesis. Right? So, kung sumitanggal yung parenthesis, katulad yung ginawa natin kanina, you can actually use power rename. And that is power rename on power toys. So, the second to the last tool is power toys run. So, it's a quick way for you to run applications within Windows 10 uh, with additional capabilities. So, you might be thinking, just for kaya namang gawin yan, uh, nitong search dito, right? So, for example, you would type in Word. Yeah, that is true, right? And kaya rin, for example, ni, um, ni Ron. So, if, if, if you are someone who is very, um, or who, who has been using Windows 10, or even Windows, older Windows, for quite a lot of time already, then you're probably familiar with run. Kaso sa run, kasi kailangan alam mo yung uh, file name ng exe file. So for example, you can type word here, it will not run um, the word application. You'll have to know the name of the application, which is actually WinWord, right? So the difference with Power Toys Run is that, uh, dito muna tayo, pag you click on Power Toys Run here, Again, like any other tool, you can enable it and disable it from here, right? But as you can see, the shortcut is Alt Space. Now, when I click on Alt Space, it will show me this one. Now, if I'm going to type here Power, so there are a lot of Power, kasi nga may Power Toys tayo, di ba? May PowerPoint, may Power Shell then, right? Meron na tayong capabilities to do um, different ways within it, or, or kung paano natin siya i-run. Kung we would want to run it normally, we can just click on the application itself, but if you want to run it in administrator, pwede. Kung gusto natin puntahan yung folder, pwede rin. And kung gusto natin buksan through a console, pwede rin. So, uh, for example, I'm going to be using PowerShell in ad admin um, capabilities or admin mode. Right? You can just click on that one. Um, of course, UAC will be uh, will, will prompt up or pop up. Right, and PowerShell will open in admin mode. So that is Power Toys Run. We're down to our last tool in Power Toys, and that is Shortcut Guide. So if you go to Power, to, uh, Power Toys and you click on Shortcut Guide, um, similar to the other tools, you can enable and disable it from here. And you have the option kung gaano katagal bago siya lumabas. 
when I said when I said gaano katagal bago lumabas because you'll have to um press and hold the Windows key on your keyboard. Some are still calling it uh, menu key, but it's called Windows key officially, right? So what will happen there is that kapag kahinold mo yon in 900 milliseconds, lalabas yung shortcut guide and as the term would imply, it will show you different shortcut guides uh, that you can use to quickly run a certain task or a certain command. So for example, you know, let me just show it to you. So when I press and hold, Windows, it will show this view. Tapos from here, I can actually see kung ano yung next na pwede kong gawin. So, from here, um, pwede na, from here nalaman ko na pwede ko palang, o oh, pwede ko palang gawin yung Windows G, as in game bar for your Xbox. Again, hold Windows menu and then click on Windows E and that is your Explorer. Hold on Windows. Then you go in on um, dictation, for example. So, ayan. So, you can actually see um, shortcuts if you hold on Windows um, key button and it will show you that shortcut guide. Very useful specifically for those people na hindi kabisad yung mga shortcut or hindi familiar with the shortcut that you have in Windows 10. And there you have it. Those are the eight tools that you have in Power Toys in order for you to customize your Windows 10. Very useful, di ba? Comment down below if you find these tools useful. Thank you very much for joining us today and watching this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye!